This video demonstrates how we can integrate with any database using Finesse Gadget Designer. In order to create a new data source connection, we need to go to the Databases tab and click on Add Button. A pop-up appears where we need to fill some details. The first is the database alias, which could be any name, as long as it uniquely identifies our database, and let's give the name as Testing. We then choose the database type, which could be any database type, but for this demo, we choose SQLite. As we select the DB type, the driver class is automatically uploaded. Give the username and password if it's required for your database. Then give the complete URL of your database along with the database name, and click on Add. Once we're done, we can write our queries for the selected database. For this, we need to write a service. In order to create a service, first select the data source, then give the service name in the corresponding field. For this demo, we give the service name as View Customers. Select the result type from Value Object or Tabular Data. Value Object returns a single object, while Tabular Data returns multiple objects. For this query, first we select Tabular Object and write our query to view complete data from the customer's table. Click on Execute to see if the result can be seen in the section below. If it works, then save your query. This service now appears in the list and can be accessed from the designer. Similarly, we create another query named as view transaction with value object as the result type and write our query to fetch data for a specific customer based on his ID from the table credit card. Here, customer ID is to be passed as a parameter and for this, we enclose the ID field within two hashes. The system recognizes anything enclosed between two hashes as a parameter. Click on Save. Now, these two services can be accessed from the designer and connect to the database. To switch to the designer, click on the Interface tab. For our demo, we already have designed our user interface, consisting of a button, a list, a few labels and text fields, and a data grid. Here, on the click of the Load Data button, we need to call a service which displays the customer IDs in the list and complete information for all customers in the grid. To do this, select the button and add an action on the click event of a button. Choose the action as Request Service. From the service type, select the type of service as DB Service and then the name of service, which is View Customers. Click on Save. The result of this service needs to be consumed by both the list and the data grid. Select the list. As only the customer ID field needs to be displayed in the list, mention the name of this field in the Label Field property of the Advanced tab. Next, go to Actions and select the service event that needs to be consumed, which is View Customers. Apply the action as Fill Data and click on Save. Repeat the same for the data grid. Select the grid, go to Actions, select the service event, and choose Action as Fill Data, and click on Save. Now the next thing required in this demo is that once we select any particular customer ID from the list, the credit card details of that customer gets displayed in the text fields. To do this, select the list, go to Actions, and on the double-click event of the list, choose the action Request Service, which is again a DB service, and the name of the service is View Transactions, which requires ID as a parameter. So, pass the reference of this text field where the parameter ID would be passed as Filter Key. Click on Save. The result of this service needs to be displayed in the corresponding text fields. For this, select the text field, go to Actions, select the service event, 
and choose the action Fill Data and pass the filter key. This has to be the field name that needs to be displayed in the text field. For the first text field, this is card number. Repeat the same steps for the other text fields. Select the text field, go to Actions, select Fill Data, and pass the filter key as Card Type. Then do the same and pass the filter key as Card Status. Click on Save. For another text field, we have the filter keys as transaction amount. The next one needs transaction date as a filter key. And finally, we have transaction type as a filter key that needs to be displayed. Now you can save and publish your project. Go to the new tab to view your project and refresh your page. We see that we have the load data button. Once this is clicked, the customer IDs are displayed in the list with complete details of all the customers in the grid. As we double click on any particular customer ID, the credit card details of that particular customer are displayed with the corresponding text fields. And that's how we can connect to any type of database from Finesse Gadget Designer using DB Services. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.